How you doing boys and girls? This is Mr. Hector. I am from Sims and today we're going to be doing bubble wrap painting. Yes, bubble wrap painting. We will be using bubble wrap, a glass of water, paper. This is construction paper. You can use white. That'll actually show your painting a lot better. But uh, lighter colors like this would help too. I'm using old newspapers that can be a little messy. I got a paintbrush. I see about a medium size, it doesn't really matter. I'm using an old plastic lid to put my painting on. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna, to, you're gonna wanna, when you're painting, you don't really wanna like fill the lines in between because when you transfer your painting, you want it to look kind of like the bubbles of the wrap. But you also want all those bubbles to collectively you know, make what you're painting. I'm almost done with my painting, so I'm kind of sliding my, I'm sliding my paintbrush kind of on the, along the bubbles. So first I started by dotting them, kind of like dot, 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 dot. And then now to finish, I'm just gonna slide it across. You kind of want to put a lot of paint on your paintbrush. That way you can just be dotting kind of fast because if it starts drying, it's gonna be hard to transfer. So maybe at the end from where you started, you want to repaint that. So I started up here on the top. I'm going to repaint that a little bit a little later. Once I get done with my little finishing touches. All right. So now to transfer your uh, <clears throat> bubble wrap dotted painting onto your paper. I don't know if you can see, but I kind of made some lines on the outside. You can do that if you're not going to have the paper underneath. That way you know like what area to stick in. But I kind of did it all under the paper or over the paper so I know, you know, where it's going to transfer the best. All right, let's see how this let's see how this turns out. So you're going to want to kind of line it up with the paper. Okay. Gently put it on top. Kind of pat it. Ooh, you know what would be really cool? If you did a strawberry, because a strawberry has the, all the little dots in the middle, right? Or within the strawberry. So it would be cool to do a strawberry. Gently, see how it's spreading a little bit? You don't want it to spread too much. At least you could. All right. Okay, we got some on the desk, but it's all right. Peel it off. Uh -huh. Let's see my carrot. What do you think? How the dirty carrot looks like on the outside of that dirt. Just like any painting, the most important part is you want to leave your you want to leave your mark on it, right? Your signature. That's my H. Turn it upside down a little harder. H. So I did it one more time. I liked the first one, but I wasn't as happy. So I encourage you to try yours a couple times, see how it turns out. But this is my second one, and like I said before, it's always important to uh, you know leave your mark and sign what you did. All right, have fun with it. 